Yo, welcome back everybody to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be covering how to work with a button component with the native base. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the fact that these buttons are very simple to use. And that's the way that uh, native base wanted to design it is to make it very simple to use. It's very similar to how you would use a button in Mature UI, Mantine, and Design, and use the other libraries. And they give you pretty much the exact same props um, as what you would have on a regular uh, front end library when you were using React, um, and they brought it to you for React Native. So the first one that I want to talk about is uh, the prop called size. It's pretty simple on how to use. All we have to do is give it a prop of size, and we can either give it in strings large, medium, small, or extra small. We can also do extra large, uh, which is not displayed here, um, or we can also do numbers. So I can do something like uh, 12, and it'll show a button 12 pixels, I think. And I can do like 120 or however big I want. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about variants. Now, variants are pretty much exactly the same thing that you would see in any other library like Mantine or Material UI. And we do have one different type of variant available to us in this library other than any than any other library. So we have something called Ghost, which is pretty much just a hover effect when you click on your actual button. So right there, you can see a little bit of hover effect. After that, we have uh, we have solid, which is going to be the solid color of the button. So if I did solid, it's going to be blue, like so. After that, we have outline. Now, outline will just put a slight outline on the outer perimeter of the actual button. And after that, we have subtle. And finally, after that, we have unstyled for just a basic no style button whatsoever. So that's what it looks like. I can still click on it but there's no styling. All right, so the next thing is a little bit interesting, in my opinion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new button for this. And I'm going to give it some text. Let's do something like uh, loading button. And for this button, um, well, in our library, we actually have the ability to be able to uh, detect if a person clicks on it and to send them a feedback of loading um, when they submit something. So for example, if I do, um, I can give it the prop is loading and now it'll show a spinner and it's going to be disabled, but it is loading. It's going to be doing something, uh, whatever that you want it to do. You can trigger this prop and it'll load the actual button, disable it. And after that, we do have another interesting prop. So if I do is loading text, we can actually add a text next to the actual spinner. So I can say something like, uh, it's loading wait, and now it'll show it's really faint, but it says it's loading weight. And we can place a spinner where we want. So if I can do something like a spinner placement, I can do it in the end, or I can do it in the start. Next thing that we're going to talk about is uh, button grouping. So if I wanted to uh, say two or more buttons to be grouped together, we can do that. So let's go ahead and get rid of this is loading and duplicate this button once more. And I'll do loading button one and loading button two like so and the way that we would group these two is pretty simple so all i need to do is use something called a button group and just contain the buttons that we want inside of that group so now they're together like so let's say if we wanted to attach them at the hip all we have to do is give it the prop of is attached now they're together uh let's say if we wanted to let's say if we want to change the actual color we can do color scheme and that will allow us to change the color. So we can do any of these options right here. Let's go ahead and choose purple. And after that, we can also put it in the middle if you want it. So we can do the way that we can do that is just use MX. And inside here, all we have to do is give it base and auto, which will allow us to be able to move the buttons in the middle like so. And we can have more than two buttons. We can do that many or that many. We can go as many as we possibly want. However, you can see that they're over the actual screen. Uh, that's where a little bit more styling would come in, but you can use a scroll view, stack them on top, however you want. All right, so that pretty much concludes the entire button component. Uh, in the next video, we'll be talking about how to install icons from Expo icons and also uh, React Native icons. So stay tuned for that. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.